two men Missouri towns are competing for a future Special Olympics training facility. Good evening, I'm Michael Downer. And I'm Shay McAllister. Missouri Special Olympics plans to build a 44,000. Volunteers in Holt Summits came together today to help fellow residents in need. Good evening, I'm Michael Downer. And I'm Brittany Peeper. They helped give out all kinds of necessities at the Union Hill Baptist Church this afternoon. This came after a fire at a nearby housing complex on Friday. As Columbia works to reduce its carbon footprint, an event today focused at educating people on how they can save energy. The Energy Efficiency Expo had multiple booths with energy efficient products and information for the public. Those attending were able to interact with the items on display as well as ask representatives any questions that they had. Representatives from Columbia Water and Light were also there offering tips on how people can lower their energy costs. Nearly two months after Michael Brown was shot and killed by Ferguson police officers, protesters haven't let up. Now Ferguson security is under the control of the St. Louis County Police Department. Casey Nolan has the story. In other news around the state, parents of children with autism have some hopes raised that an early intervention program plans to expand. The Mercy Kids Autism Center near St. Louis is introducing a program known as the Early Start Denver Model. Thanks to a local family foundation fund, Mercy is partnering with the St. Louis ARC to offer the treatment for more autism patients. Thousands of flags waved in the wind as strangers from all over Kansas came together to honor and pay their final respects to Corporal Jason Harwood. The Topeka police officer was killed during a routine traffic stop last week. Brooke Lennington has the story. A recount on the right to farm bill looks as though it will confirm the original passage of the measure. Opponents of this controversial bill demanded a recount after the August election. The constitutional amendment passed by a margin of 2,490 votes out of the over more than 1 million cast. Election authorities said the recount has reduced that margin of passage by 16 votes. We had some beautiful fall weather out there this weekend. Let's send it over to Amanda Collette to find out what we can expect for the work week ahead. Two months after he was fired, the former band director at Ohio State University was among the thousands of musicians on the field this weekend. Harrison Ho shows us the emotional moment when Jonathan Waters returned. The cold weather is coming, which for some may mean growing out a winter coat. And we don't necessarily mean a coat on your back. Stick around for a look at a competition where the results could get a bit hairy.